morning my fireflies how are you um i just wanted to jump on here while i'm on my way to work uh just you know thoughts motivation uh things that have just crossed my mind um one of the biggest things of sadness and then absolute disgust and then sadness again um is nipsey hustle's um memorial home going service the other day 25.5 miles of funeral procession of people celebrating his life and the things that he's done for them and the community and all this love and outpouring for a man that probably did not even know he was loved that much to have a 25 and a half mile procession for himself um, he probably felt like, yeah, I do I, right. and they love me, you know, they, they are right in these streets, but he probably did not know how, um, good it is. Um, one thing that disgusts me is that there was a damn drive-by during the damn funeral procession. One person died, three people was injured. What in the hell? We already talking about somebody that died from some senseless violence where you could have been an adult and used your words, but instead you used the gun. And now we trying to celebrate the tragedy and the life and trying to spin it a little bit positive to show love and support. And you got a damn drive-by going on during the same time a few blocks away who the hell i thought the whole neighborhood was at the procession so who had time to be shooting who who's shooting we got four people that just ain't participating out of all the people i mean damn both sides of the gangs done come together and we got four people out there just being asses now one of them is dead and three is injured. Y'all should have had all your asses at the funeral procession and been walking slow and been protected. See, people can't do shit right. And that bothers me. It bothers me not because I feel like I got a longer life to live. It bothers me because my son is of age and he gonna be out here with these crazy ass people who have not been raised the way he was raised in terms of respect and conflict resolution and knowing how to use your words to express that I'm having a problem and trying to get to the bottom of things and I see my son, and I'm sure you see your kids or nieces or nephews that have potential. It's like, yo, if they could just get on this road and you let them fly, they are going to be so successful. And I want that for all, I want that for all of us. But I also want that for our kids. But we can't get there if nobody is trying to raise the ones out here in the streets. We need to figure out, well, why the hell are you in the streets in the first place? What is it that we can do to get your ass out the street? to get you motivated to do something that you good at. I believe that everyone has a gift to give to the world. Everybody has something positive to contribute. But you got to give them time to figure out what it is. You got to get them an environment so they can focus to see what the positive is. And then you got to give them an opportunity to hone that positivity into something that they can use for the community like Nipsey did. He said he had a few wake up calls where it was like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm on the edges of, you know, getting ready to die or go to jail. And it's like, oh, I got to fix this. That was his wake up call. And he tried to maneuver within the system and within his circumstances to do better. Now, sometimes that does come from within that you have to figure out that you have to do better. You have to dig deep within your soul and tap energies that you didn't know you had before to become the better version of yourself but it also helps to have people around you that will um motivate and and get you going so i just need us all to do better people i really do i, I really really do uh because it bothers me it bothers me to my soul like i knew him personally um Let's just do better. Other than that, I know uh, if you saw it or saw bits and pieces, Stevie Wonder spoke and he spoke about gun violence. And what he had to say was very, very, very nice. But 
I don't think it's going to really um, last per se because what is you doing? I'm sorry. You know, I'm always driving child. People trying to do like three lanes and it's only two. Um, gun violence is a serious, serious problem. And the problem with the gun violence is that the people who own the guns and make the laws are the people, I would say, in my head, are like the 1%. They got all this money, so it ain't nobody above them telling them, like, yo, you need to calm that down, fix it. There's nobody there. And since they have this power, and since they have this money, and they get to basically do whatever the hell they want to do, they ain't going to stop for little old me and little old you. Be like, oh, well, they really having problems in these streets. Let's change the laws for real, for real. And let's take some of this money that we hoarding up here and put it into the community to reform whatever. How about we get some more community centers up in this bitch? That's one way to start honing positivity. We need community centers. We need art programs. We need music programs. Anybody out there with some money? Because I got a whole bunch of ideas that are positive, that probably could be, some would be non-for-profit, so it depends. You probably would have to be extremely rich to be like, all right, that's cool, we could just use that and I don't have to make it back. But some ideas to do stuff. Or even low-key, you might have some monetary uh, means in there, but I got a whole bunch of ideas that we need to be doing all over the place different ideas please hit me up in the comments like share because i'm serious i want to do stuff for the community for the kids for other adults that are my age that are frustrated of working a nine to five and not seeing nothing pay off but the fact that you stress and your hair coming out people edges once upon a time like evelyn said there was a girl that had no edges my edges is starting to fade child Man, I'm stressed. I mean, part of it probably comes also because the scarf come off and I'd be rubbing on the side. But even with the rubbing on the side, ain't that much rubbing with a scarf that your hair coming out. I got to wear my hair like this so it look like it's just dark and slick back. Ain't no hair, child. Gone. <sighs> Gone. Oh, but seriously, hit me up in the comments. Message me. Um, give me some of your ideas. We go, we together on this channel, even with my little four subscribers. I need some subscribers. But either way, even with us four, we're going to figure out a way to do something that we can do in our community, in our area. Whether it's start a program, whether it's write a, a proposal to the city, something to get something started. Even on the off chance that it doesn't really work and when i say does it work meaning like you write you send it to the proper people you may get that you know oblig uh, obligated uh template letter where they just throw your name in it and thank you so much for your concern and blah blah blah, 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 blah. even if you end up with one of them you would know in your soul and in your spirit in your spirit that's all things about to hit each other um you have taken a step you have done more than what to say the next man has done where he just fussing and rah, 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 but he didn't take a step. We got to do better, people. We got to do better. And I'm not necessarily political because I know it's a whole lot of work, but I just want, I just want stuff to be better. Like, I want us to have simple problems in life, like... Who gonna cut the grass and what we eating for dinner today? Oh, I forgot to pay that bill yesterday, but let me pay it right now because I got no problems and I got money in the bank. You know, like, oh, the day ain't long enough, but I was having such a good time with you. I'll see you tomorrow. Just simple, everyday, normal problems. Not, oh my God, my child's getting bullied at school. Oh my God, my child killed theyself because somebody said kill theyself online. Oh my God, my child is, uh, you know, he is the bully or being bullied or where they get this gun from or why they taking these drugs. That, that's too much. That's too much. So my question to everybody today on this Friday uh, I know here in Philly, a lot of kids are getting ready to go on spring break next week. So we should have some downtime. What are we going to do in our downtime that is going to be positive and helpful? Either for yourself in a good way, uh, for your neighbor, your family, 
Um, your mental health, please check out your mental health. Mental health is probably the second serious thing above gun violence, uh, in my opinion. Because if your mind ain't right, you can't get nothing else right. But, um, I don't know. Give me your ideas. Like, share, comment, like I said. Donate to the cause. Uh, the cause of my channel, the cause of me trying to raise money for my child prom or uh, actually school uh, college fund applications uh, rent money I'm going through some stuff you know as my previous videos I'm working at a job that is not paying as much uh, to take care of the household like I want to I know you think it wouldn't get a new job I have been and uh, I've been applying and I think I may have a couple interviews during my break but you just can't go in there and choke nobody and be like, give me a job and pay me this much money, you know. It would be nice if it was that easy, <laughs> but it's not. So in the meantime, I'm selling dinners. I'm going to put the description in the box if you're in the Philly area of the things that I'm selling and what they are, how much they are. Um, well, not how much they are because you have to call me and I'll have to tell you where you're at so I can put the delivery fee in there about to deliver. But um, I'll put in the description... Uh, a link to where you can see the flyer of what I'm selling and um, go from there. People don't stop it. Don't stop lights. Anyway, I want you all to have a fabulous Friday. Um, enjoy the day. I don't think it's going to rain per se, but it's going to be kind of gloomy. Don't let the gloomy uh, affect your day and your outlook. Remember, you have to be great all the time. Give 1,000%. Don't half-ass it. The whole ass. And you'll be just fine. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.